Hey y'all, I'm back with another book review. I just finished The Life of the Beloved. Um, this is written by Henry Nguyen, who is a Catholic priest. And it was interesting because he originally wrote it for a secular audience and just dealing uh, with um, questions that people in the secular world had. And it's interesting because the people that he wrote it for um, ended up not really getting it and they said no you have to address these questions first that we don't really understand and so this book ended up being something for people that were Christians or believers um, in general um, in Christ anyway um, I thought it was super interesting because it focused it on seeing the good in life and not seeing the negative and um it's really funny because last night my parents and i were watching this show and this woman and this man were just caustic like super bitter angry and they had to be no more than 35 and it was just so interesting to see how angry they were they couldn't see the bright side in anything at all and like they were not poor they were super wealthy and I was just like well that's super interesting I would hate to live life like that um my mom has always been like you need to find the good little things find the positives find the blessings find things you're grateful for and it was interesting um because Henry Nguyen was like you need to find the blessings life is going to be hard that is the way life is but you need to find the blessings and stuff and like he works um with the mentally disabled and um they're they obviously struggle with different things and it was interesting they still find the little um joys in life and they might not have very much they might not have the love of another person which was interesting to hear from okay that was another thing that was super interesting sorry you know me i rainbow um but he said he struggled with not being intimate with somebody and i think priests don't ever really say that it's not really like a thing in the church that priests are like no we struggle we do struggle with um not having a, a spouse to go through life with but they're like we've chosen this path and though we struggle with it this is still our calling and we're still serving God we just not doing it with a spouse and I'm like that's so hard I don't know if I can do that personally I'm somebody who believes in that I need a partner because let's face it I'm just kind of crazy <laughs> honestly but um and I need somebody to balance out my silliness and my craziness and my my everything and so I think it was interesting to hear that that even people that are mentally disabled priests they all struggle with this thing that they want to have intimacy with somebody else and like have a relationship and I'm just like that's so interesting that's that's totally not what that was about, but I got distracted by that. But basically, being the life of the beloved is basically focusing um, that we are broken, but God takes up brokenness and makes us good, which has been the life, I mean, been the theme throughout the books that I've been reading recently. And I think it's like, oh, Tino, you need to make sure that you are finding the good and the brokenness and that God can use it. And even though you are broken, because we're human, we're broken, he uses it uh, for good. Um, anyway, super good read, super interesting. Um, it's super short. I think it took me maybe two hours to read. Um, not even that. Um, anyway, um, I hope you all love the review. Um, if you have any suggestions, just type them on the bottom and then subscribe.